What do you got? Oh, it's a big one, Mal. A man who took 259 test wickets for this country. He was the first male Indigenous test cricketer for this country. It's a great man, Jason Gillespie, the big Diz. G'day, Flem. You asked for going? green tea? Yes, thank you, mate. Oh, thank like you, it. lovely. I tell you, one of the roles you have, uh, Diz, is you are the treasurer of the fast bowling cartel. What yeah. a great honour. Yeah, look, fantastic honour. And uh, yeah, I got that as uh, our president. We had a, a Glenn fast McGrath. bowlers. Yeah, Glenn McGrath, fast bowlers catch up last week. And uh, yeah, I was left with a bill. So I think he's he's going to get a new nickname for me. Yeah, crime. Hey, why, why is that? Yeah, because crime doesn't pay. Oh, boom. Yeah. We don't have canned laughter for this segment, right. unfortunately. Okay, right. yeah. Now, Shame. what about, a, you're talking about rap, so Ricky Ponting, the captain of our commentary team, said yesterday, amongst other things, you were one of the most underrated cricketers for Australia of all time. Yeah. Was, you was, comfortable with that rap from Rick? Uh, well, it's very nice for Rick to uh, say that and, uh, and, and think that. But, uh, look, I just, I just love playing for my country and, and our country and uh, just going out there and doing the doing the best you can, uh, best you can really. And I think we look through this vision, Diz. You took seven wickets here at Headingley um, in 1997's seven tour. What a great tour. Did you bowl any faster in a test match than this one here? Yeah, look, I remember Ian Healy actually said to me that's as fast as he kept to oh. when he was standing back. I, I knew it was my day because I remember one, uh, I think John Crawley clipped one off a half volley on leg stump and Greg Blue was at short leg. It hit his foot, bounced up, <laughs> caught it. think, yeah, it might be my day today. <laughs> this might be my day today. Here, yeah. i tell you one day that wasn't your day. One of the things we admired about your, you, Diz, is your courage, not only on on the field, but to come back from injuries, there were stress fractures, foot injuries, shoulder. Uh, you had a dodgy mullet for a little while there too, but you fought through that. Um, but remember Candy, 1999, yep. and that collision with Steve Wall. Yeah, uh, look, I remember it. I was coming in from deep backwards square, and, and Steve oh. was coming from short, fine leg. Everyone went to Stephen because obviously his nose was broken and there was blood everywhere, and I was sort of left left to my own devices. Everyone was sort of focusing on. Steve, but uh, but yeah, I was carried off, and uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah, busted well, leg. Well, I remember when up. you come yeah. off, and I yeah. remember the st first thing Steve Wall wanted, he wanted a photo, yeah. you know, because he's thinking, you know, tour diary. <laughs> and we've got you in your mind, but I remember peeling the whites back, and mm. your shin bone was like that. Yeah. And I, I actually remember trying to put some weight on my leg, and it was just a searing, sharp pain, phlegm, and uh, I knew, oh, geez, I've done something serious here. I'd never broken a bone before, so no. it was a new experience for me. And, yeah. and then you're into the ambulance quickly. You had to get you down to Colombo. Yeah, it was like a really old escort panel van. So that yeah. was the, the old ambulance there in Candy, and, and the the ambulance driver is in such haste to shut the door. I didn't realise my leg was, my broken leg was still hanging out of the this ambulance. But Errol Olcott, our physio, yes. quick thinking, he. Stop the door. Hooter, uh, stop the door just in time. And, uh, yeah, it was an interesting time. So, into Colombo, you had some quality time with the captain, Steve Waugh. Spent a bit of time with, with Steve in the uh, in, in the hospital there. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, a couple of situations. Um, yeah, we uh, sponge baths and uh, uh, getting administered pain relief, which, uh, yeah, but, was very difficult. Yeah, we're still PG at the moment <laughs> yeah, here, Jase. Very um, much so. Hey, now, what about all us bowlers love our batting? And there was an historic occasion. You got to bat with Glenn McGrath. You brought up your first 50. Yep. But what about the celebrations? That was a little bit of fun. Um, I was I was a bit nervous because I'd got an inside edge past the keeper for four. And uh, I thought I'd ride, the, <laughs> ride my bat. Um, you know, I'd, I'd sort of had a... Yeah, but what was the story behind it? There's a Happy Gilmore, yeah. one of your favourite yeah. movies. One of my favourite movies, yeah. The, the Adelaide Career Club boys, my, my local club here in Adelaide. Their nickname is? Uh, the Mighty Buffaloes. And, um, you know, the boys said, uh, if you ever get a 50, you're going to celebrate it. I said, yeah, I'll probably ride ride my bat down the down the pitch, a la Happy Gilmore. And the uh, boys said, no, nah, you'd never do that. So I had to prove them wrong. And, uh, yeah, what, so that's... What about the, the, the role of Night Watchman? Are you a... Yes? Are you a fan or no? I think overall, I, I think uh, it should be the job of the batsman to, yes. to go and, and do that. Um, so why didn't Ricky do that against Bangladesh about 15 years ago? He pushed you up to number three. How'd you go? Yeah, well, look, I, I had to do. I, I did my job. I got three for 11 or five overs, and then you know I get a tap on the shoulder, and there's a number one batsman in the world, captain of the team, and says, "Mate, I, I need you to do my job as well." So, I mean, when the captain asks you to do his job as well, you, you, what do you do? You say yes, of course, and uh, yeah. Um, and how many did you score? Uh, managed to get 201 not out, uh, <laughs> Flynn. <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> and did you get to bat to Ricky on that? Did you bat with him? I got to bat with Ricky for a while, um, yep. but I made a um, maybe a monumental error. I, I, might, I might have run him out, and uh, that was a moment I knew that I could not go back into the dressing room. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Last one, you're coaching the strikers. Yep. You got them their first uh, BBL trophy in, in year seven. You're hoping to, to get another one this summer. Oh, look, it'd be fantastic, but we know how tough uh, Big Bash is, you know, great teams. Uh, look, we'll just go out there and, and try and entertain the crowd as much as we can. We get brilliant support here at Adelaide. We are the best fans in the competition, in, in our opinion. And look, we just want to go out there, entertain the crowds, uh, have a bit of fun, and hopefully we can have some success. Well, Diz, you are a legend. You're the treasurer of the fast bowling cartel. Thanks for joining us on dinner with Flem today. Thanks, mate.